On November 19th, 2012, I was heading into the waiting room, did all pre-op. I was actually reading the first Hunger Games book. I got really into it. I had to read it for school. I was actually ahead of my class reading the book. Um, went into the operating room, laying on the table. I was telling all the nurses and stuff about the book and everything. I'm like, I'm like, I'm ready for the next book already. And then I was hoping I'd get a chance to read some more chapter of the book. Whenever I had opened my eyes, I knew something was wrong right then and there. I thought it was a nightmare. I really thought it was a nightmare and I was still asleep. But until my eye doctor came in and said I was legally blind, then it became a reality. I knew from right then and there I wouldn't be able to play soccer or even read the, or finish the Hunger Games series. So it devastated me that I couldn't finish. Whenever I got home from having the surgery, we had nothing. I didn't know what to do. It was hard even brushing my teeth, doing my hair. I went to the Academy for the Blind and they taught me stuff. Um, I put bottles on my shampoo, tell me if it was conditioner or not. Instead of putting the toothpaste on the brush, I put the toothpaste in my mouth and start brushing. Um, it, it did hurt me because I, I had uh, friends in the Martha Puckett Middle School, they found out about the surgery. I had went to a band concert and I seen a man with a guide dog and I actually stopped him and asked him, you know, where did you get your dog? And he told me about the organization of Southeastern Guide Dogs and I asked him where it was and how was the training, how would I go about applying? I put in the application and by gosh, they ask you everything. Uh, but now whenever I went to the school. I understood. Whenever I went to Southeastern Guide Dogs, whenever I first heard that I got in and they found me a match, I was excited. Uh, when I got there, I knew I had to be there for 26 days by myself. My favorite day was match day. Whenever I first called my dog's name, and I'll, I'll be honest, I, I thought I was getting married. <laughs> Whenever I had Cody come in the door, she stepped on my foot. <laughs> and I see why they wanted us to wear tennis shoes. And then they left us alone to bond. Oh, right then and there I knew she was the one. She was hard-headed like me, stubborn, lazy. Every time we get a break, we would take power naps together. I'd be on the floor rubbing her belly. She loved it. I'll admit, she's me in four-legged form. Um, she keeps me on my toes. Training was intense, but fun. Um, I was, whenever I first lost my sight, I used to like escalators. I never thought I'd be able to walk on an escalator again. Whenever I had the trainer take me to do the escalators. I was so scared. But once I had Cody there, it was fun. And I knew from right then and there, I knew she would help me. She has over 40 commands that she knows. I can go into a store and if any chance I get disoriented and I don't know where I am, I can tell her, find the door out and whatever door I came in, she can find me the door, at the one we came in. She can find escalators, elevators, steps, 
curves. She goes. She knows um, the door to go out for a fire drill, just in case we have an emergency. She knows my path to all my classes, so technically I can't skip class because she actually takes me straight to the door. <laughs> I get asked, "Is why can't?" I pet a service dog. Um, really, to be honest, it it kind of confuses them when they're in harness and you touch them. Then they think that they're not working, and it 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 just messes up the whole training process. When the harness is on, she's dedicated to me, safety wise. When the harness is off, her demeanor changes. She's playful. She's a normal dog. When the harness is off, you can touch her, but still ask to pet. She has made a world of a difference since I've had her. I used to not want to go out in the public. I was so embarrassed to have my cane. And now since I have her, I want to go out. I want to go eat. I want to do things. I want to go to theme parks. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be out and about. I would still be in my room, keeping to myself. She helped me a lot.